Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I posted a video that Microsoft Copilot is now rolling out to more Windows 11 and 10 devices. And this current rollout phase will reach most Windows 11 and 10 devices who have not received Copilot yet by the end of May this year, 2024. Now that video will be in the end screen if you want more information. But in regards to this, as I posted earlier this week, with the rollout of Microsoft Edge version 123, which is our current stable release, the browser was automatically installing Copilot. A little app was being installed on Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices with the rollout of Edge 123. Now that video will also be in the end screen if you like more info, but just a quick recap on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If we head to our settings, apps, installed apps, yeah, you'll see that, as mentioned previously, this little Copilot app is being installed. And it's a small little app, 8 kilobytes in size. And as I mentioned, um, this could be due to the fact that Microsoft is wanting now to roll out Copilot to more Windows 11 and 10 devices by the end of May this year, 2024. Now, currently, as mentioned, the app does nothing. It's basically what I would just consider a dead feature. But this could be a placeholder for up and coming updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11 to receive Copilot on the desktop. Now, just to let you know that I have noticed this morning on Windows 11 that the uninstall option has been grayed out where when I posted previously, you could uninstall this little Copilot from your installed apps list. So this is very strange because it's only on Windows 11. And if we head over to a screenshot I took on my Windows 10 device before posting, we can see that the same app on Windows 10 can still be uninstalled because the uninstall button is not grayed out. So very strange that Microsoft is only graying out the uninstall option on Windows 11. Um, at this stage, it might still make its way to Windows 10. But how I kind of sum this all up is that this now is Microsoft basically making this uninstallable for want of a better word. So those devices who have not received Copilot yet can actually start receiving Copilot and this is just a placeholder. But obviously this is not an official announcement from Microsoft and obviously if I get any more info why this has suddenly become uninstallable I will post and let you know. But if you are running Windows 10 as mentioned that uninstall option is still available currently as of posting this video today on the 28th of March. And if that does change, obviously I'll post and let you know, but I thought that was interesting. And we have been covering this little app for want of a better word um, over the last week or so. So just wanted to put it out there in case you were unaware or you hadn't noticed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.